All right, guys, a uh, quick, quick recap from today's lesson. Uh, today's lesson was using 2D shapes, such as rectangles and or triangles, to find the surface area of a 3D shape, most notably of a rectangular or triangular prism. Uh, this first video is going to be basic uh, rectangular prisms, and I'll just go through the process there. So with a rectangular prism, uh, we can do first entry level by just finding, all right, what's the area of one, what's the area of two, three, four, five, and six. I can find the area of those individually and just add them all up together. So if the area for number one, one is two by four, so two by four, so area is, of course, the length times width, which is... Um, this one is 4 times 2, which is a total of 8. Now, I won't go through the length times width, all that kind of stuff for each one, because we all know that the area of any rectangle is length times width. So the area of 1 is 8. The area of 2 up here, I have 2 by 4. So that's a 2 by 4, which is, of course, 8 as well. For 3, 3 here, I have 2 by 4. So 2 by 4 is 8. I have the area of number 4, which is a 4 by 4. So 4 by 4 is 16. I have the area of 5, which is 2 by 4. So 2 by 4, which is 8. And the last one I have, again, 4 by 4. So for the last one, number 6, or shape 6, I have a 4 by 4, which is 16. And so I have the area of all my different shapes, all my different 2D rectangles, and now I just add them all up together. That's all I need to do. So I'm going to add up like ones. 8 plus 8 is, of course, 16. I have this one here. 8 and 8 is 16. And oh, look at this. I have another 16 and another 16. So I actually have four 16s. Well, I have four groups of 16. So I'm just going to do something simple. 16 times 4, four groups of 16. Um, I can do the long way. Long way is, okay, 4 times 6 is 24, and then 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is, uh, is 6, so there's my answer, 64. If I didn't want to do that way, I could split 16 up into 10 and 6. 10 times 4 is 40, and 6 times 4 is 24. Add those two together, and I'll get 64 again. Okay. Um, if I don't want to do that, what I can do is a little bit more advanced here is, let me just get out this paper. Oop, there we go. Um, hmm, darn. Another piece of paper here. Um, what we can see is I have number four and number six. They're actually the same thing, isn't it? So if four and six is the same. So four and six, we know that's a four by four, which is a 16. But how many of them do I have? Well, I have two groups of 16, two groups of 16. And then, what else do I have? I have this two by four. Well, how many two by fours do I have? I have one, two, three, four. I have four of them. So I have four groups of two by four, which is eight. Well, how does how much does this add up all together? Well, two times 16, that kind of, kind of looks similar to this one. There. Two groups of 16, here's my 16, my 16, which is uh, 32 plus my four groups of eight. Well, how many eights I have? I had one, two, three, four. Four groups of eight. Uh, four groups of eight is, of course, uh, 32. And 32 plus 32, there I go, 64 again. Okay? And we can do that with any shape here, even this shape down here. I have here, how many of these do I have? I have two of them. So I have two of my one by two, so that's two groups of two. I have these two, which are the same, Right? And that's a 1 by, is it 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 by 6. So that's two groups of 6. And I have another two groups of this. And that's two groups of two groups of 12. Well, add them all up together. I have two 2s, which is 4, plus two 6s, which is 12, plus two 12s, which is 24. Add them up. Okay, I just add these ones up here. I have 4 plus these two together. I have 30. So my 10s together, 30, plus my 1s together is 6. So 36. And then add those two together up, and I have a total of 40. And there you go. Just found the surface area of those two shapes. Okay? Hope that helps. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at our triangular prisms. Catch you in the next one.